Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. A classic dinosaur series returns in a 3D in Harkin Cedar movie preview. Also, information about the construction happening at our school. You won't find it on Facebook or Twitter? All coming up next on NHS TV. Senior student athletes, Northwest ISD Athletic Booster Club scholarship applications are now available in the counseling offices. Ten $500 scholarships will be given to senior student athletes at your school. These applications will be due back to the counselor's office no later than 4 p.m. on Friday, April 19th. Also, seniors, every Friday at all lunches, there will be a table to register for project graduation. This is a lock-in that is the night of graduation. This is an event with prizes, food, and games. Registration paid by April 30th will be $25 per person. After that, it will be $30. One of our seniors, Karen Stubbe, is one of 50 State Farm Scholar Award recipients for the state of Texas. As a result of this, our high school has the opportunity to compete against 49 other high schools for a $5,000 award by going to the NHS homepage in the far right column and voting as many times as you can on April 15th for Karen Stubbe. We've heard all of or seen the series of Jurassic Park. All, but here's Harkin Cedar Movie Preview with more about it. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is revisiting the big screens in honor of the 20th anniversary of its release on June 11, 1993. If you aren't familiar with the film, the plot consists of a theme park power outage causing an exhibit of cloned dinosaurs to escape on an island of 120 miles off the coast of Costa Rica. Jurassic Park was rated an 8 out of 10 and has a Metascore of 68 out of 100. It is also rated one of the 500 greatest films of all time. The next sequel, Jurassic Park 4, is set to hit the theaters June 13, 2014. This week's trivia question is, which actor was the original choice to play Dr. Grant? Tweet your answers to at NHSTV for your chance to win two free Harkins movie tickets. And don't forget to bring your student ID to Harkins Theaters in Southlake for discount prices at the box. Have a ferocious Friday, Texans, and I'll see you at the movies. We've all seen the construction on the practice fields. Now here's Annalyn Priest with the full story. Changes in the air here at the NISD district. Elementary schools are being updated, high schools are being built, along with some minor changes around here. But the biggest change that affects us is the construction outside the east entrance. As most of you have hopefully noticed, the practice field is being, well, demolished. Well, what we're doing is it's under construction, as everybody can see with all the dirt, and we're adding a football, soccer, sub-varsity stadium over there. Well, this was the best location because we already had a track here, and the, with the opening of middle school number six, we didn't have enough fields to accommodate all of our athletics program. And this will be no small change. Oh no, when our district updates, they go all out. Putting in 900 seats, of bleacher seats, a concession stand, and uh, also a restroom. The turf itself will be artificial turf, and this will be a stadium that, that's uh, comparable to the one that's by announced. With all this being built, you'd think it'd take a really long time, right? Well, you'd be wrong. 
This is a high priority project and will be done in just four months. I hope it doesn't affect fall practice. Now spring practice, we're gonna to have to move. So what will this new and improved stadium be used for? We will play uh, sub-varsity games, which would be anywhere from seven through JV, seventh grade through JV football games. Any soccer, boys and girls, varsity, JV soccer games would also be played there. Things are looking up here in our district, so get ready Texans, because this is Change We Can Support. For NHS TV, I'm Annaline Priest. Congratulations to our Northwest girls and boys track teams who competed in districts at Keller yesterday. Both the girls and boys varsity teams placed second overall. And stay tuned next week for a full recap on Sharice Lee's Sports Show. And you're not going to want to miss a good students and what makes them Texans of the Week. Have a wonderful weekend, Texans.